Imagine living next to someone who turns your dream home into a nightmare. The friendly wave across the street, the shared tools over the fence, the knowing nod as you both take out the trash, all replaced with an unsettling feeling, a creeping dread that something isn't right. Today, we delve into five true neighbor horror stories that will make you double check your locks tonight. We'll explore the unsettling truth that sometimes, the most terrifying monsters don't lurk in the shadows, but reside right next door, hidden in plain sight. Are you ready to meet your neighbors? Sarah and Tim were ecstatic about their new home. A charming Victorian with a sprawling yard, it was everything they had ever dreamed of. But their idyllic life quickly took a sinister turn. It started subtly, an unnerving feeling that they were being watched. Then came the notes, handwritten and anonymous, filled with unsettling messages about their daily routines. I see you watching TV, one read. Your new curtains are hideous, sneered another. The watcher, as they began to call him, seemed to know their every move. He described their habits, their comings and goings, even the layout of their furniture. Fear gnawed at Sarah and Tim, turning their dream home into a claustrophobic prison. They installed security cameras, but the watcher remained elusive, his presence felt but never captured. Sleep became a luxury they could no longer afford, every creak of the house, every rustle of leaves outside the window, sending shivers down their spines. The psychological torture was relentless. Sarah became withdrawn, haunted by the unseen eyes that followed her every move. Tim, consumed by a need to protect his family, grew increasingly agitated, his frustration fueled by the Watcher's untraceable presence. They reported the incidents to the police, but without concrete evidence, the authorities were powerless. The letters continued, growing bolder, more menacing. The Watcher seemed to relish in their fear, his messages dripping with a perverse pleasure. The once vibrant colors of their home turned drab, the walls closing in like the bars of a cage. Sarah and Tim began to question their sanity, the constant fear blurring the lines between reality and paranoia. Was it all in their heads? Was the Watcher a figment of their anxieties, a manifestation of the stress of settling into a new home? Or was there truly a sinister force lurking in the shadows, feeding on their terror? The truth remained elusive, the mystery of the Watcher unsolved. Sarah and Tim eventually moved, unable to bear the psychological torment any longer. But they left a part of themselves behind, forever scarred by the unseen eyes that haunted their dream home. The Watcher, whoever he was, had won. Their sanctuary had been violated, their sense of security shattered, leaving behind an invisible scar of fear that would forever taint their perception of home. And as you settle into your own homes tonight, remember this, you never truly know who is watching. In the quiet corners of a bustling city, Jenna, a young tenant new to the urban jungle, found what she thought would be her sanctuary. Her apartment, nestled in an older, character-filled building, promised a fresh start away from her past troubles. However, her excitement quickly dissolved into unease as peculiar occurrences began to unfold. It started with small, inexplicable noises at night, taps and creaks that one might put down to the building's age. But then, things took a darker turn. Personal items started shifting places, and food from the fridge began to disappear. Jenna's sanctuary was turning into a house of mysteries with no logical explanation. The unease escalated when she discovered a hidden passage behind her bathroom mirror, leading to a small, obscured part of the apartment. It was here that Jenna's worst fears were confirmed. Someone had been living there, in the shadows of her home, watching her every move. This hidden tenant, a shadow lurking in the unseen spaces of her daily life, had been invading her privacy, silently coexisting without her knowledge. The discovery left Jenna horrified. She confronted her landlord who feigned ignorance but the truth was hard to deny. The locks were changed, the hidden passage sealed, but the damage was done. Jenna's sense of security was shattered. Every shadow whispered potential threats, every noise a signal of lurking danger. The psychological impact was profound. Jenna found herself questioning every corner of her apartment, every face in her building. Trust became a luxury she could no longer afford, her own home no longer a refuge but a battleground of fear and suspicion. The hidden tenant was gone, but the echoes of his presence haunted her. Jenna's story is a chilling reminder of how deep the roots of fear can grow when the sanctity of our personal space is violated. 
As we lock our doors tonight, let's consider not only who we keep out, but also who might already be in. In the quiet hum of the everyday, beneath the surface of the ordinary, lie unknown horrors that are seldom spoken of. Imagine, if you will, a world that exists just out of sight, where the shadows whisper secrets meant only for the darkest of nights. In every whispered tale and half-seen figure in the corner of your eye, the boundary between the known and the unknown blurs just a little more. What might be lurking there, in the quiet moments when we dare to look away? It's in these moments that the heart begins to race, the mind falters, and the chill of the unknown creeps up our spine. Every creak and groan of our homes, every rustle of the trees, might carry with it a story, an unknown horror waiting to be unveiled. We live our lives blissfully unaware of the thin veil that separates us from a world of eerie mysteries. But what happens when that veil is lifted, when the unknown comes knocking at our door, or worse, whispers through the walls of our very homes? It's in the dead of night, when the world is asleep, that these horrors come alive, dancing in the darkness, playing with the notion of reality. These unknown horrors aren't always creatures or phantoms. Sometimes they are the deeds, the pasts, and the secrets of those who live just next door. The horrors could be buried under the very ground on which our homes are built, or hidden in the smiles of those we trust. So, next time you hear a sound that you can't quite place or feel a presence in an empty room, ask yourself, is it merely the house settling, or could it be something more, something patiently waiting in the unknown? It's the not knowing that feeds the fear, the imagination filling in the shadows with its worst nightmares. And remember, while we sleep, the world shifts and changes, and the unknown horrors don't just disappear with the rising sun. They linger, biding their time, perhaps waiting for the perfect moment to make the unknown known. Shadows aren't just absences of light, they are canvases for our deepest fears. In the quiet corners of our gardens, where the light doesn't quite reach, shadows grow, and with them, so do the tales of what might reside within. Every rustling leaf and every whisper of the wind carries a hint of something sinister, watching, waiting. It's in these patches of darkness that our imaginations craft creatures and conspiracies. What moves just beyond our sight? A trick of the light, or something more deliberate, more aware. Gardens, with their tangled plants and hidden nooks, provide perfect havens for the unknown to lurk. As the sun sets and the garden falls into twilight, the shadows lengthen and deepen. It's during these times that the boundary between the natural and the supernatural seems most fragile. The garden transforms from a place of growth and life into a scene of eerie uncertainty. Perhaps it's the ancient instinct, a primal knowledge that danger often comes under cover of darkness, that makes our hearts beat faster as we peer into our gardens at night. We tell ourselves it's nothing, just the night playing tricks on our eyes. But the seed of doubt is already planted. Who hasn't felt the prickling of their skin, the catch in their breath, when facing the deep dark corners of a shadowy garden. It's a place where the normal rules don't seem to apply, where anything could be hiding just out of sight, just beyond reach. So next time you gaze out into your garden as dusk embraces the world, pay attention to the shadows. Respect them, fear them, but most importantly, let them stir your curiosity. For it is only by facing these shadows that we keep the garden of our mind well tended and free from the overgrowth of fear. The walls of our homes are meant to protect us, to keep the outside out and the inside in. But what if they become conduits for something more unsettling? Whispers in the walls, the faint muffled sounds of unknown origins, can turn a sanctuary into a prison of paranoia. These whispers might be dismissed as the house settling, the wind playing its age-old symphony with the structure of our homes. But for those who listen, really listen, the whispers could tell tales of hidden histories, secrets embedded in the very fabric of the building. Imagine lying in bed, the world silent around you, and then a whisper. Not quite words, not quite clear enough to understand. It's easy to imagine it's just a dream, the remnants of a fading night terror. But what if it's not? What if the walls are speaking, trying to communicate? The origin of these whispers is often as elusive as their meaning. Could they be echoes of past events, psychic imprints left on the stones and beams that make up our homes? Or perhaps, something more sentient bides its time within the walls, a presence not quite of this world. It's a chilling thought, one that can make the darkness feel a little denser, the silence a little heavier. 
The safety we feel within our own homes becomes questioned, the familiar turned foreign by the mere suggestion of whispers in the walls. So next time you hear something, a whisper, a sigh, a breath where there should be none, consider the possibilities. Are the walls protecting you, or are they a barrier keeping you in with something else? The answers might just be hidden in the whispers. These stories remind us that sometimes, the real horrors are closer to home than we think. The friendly face next door might hide a dark secret. The seemingly peaceful neighborhood might harbor unsettling truths. Stay safe, and remember, a good neighbor is a watch neighbor. Keep your eyes open, your doors locked, and your wits about you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your own creepy neighbor stories in the comments below. Let's build a community of vigilance, a network of watchful eyes against the darkness that might be lurking just beyond our picket fences. Until next time, keep your doors locked.